Good YouTube, it's your boy Darren McAllister. Um, today I'm just showing you guys my carp. I got it back today. The man had did all the work and everything on it for me, and it's not clean, clean, but it, it'll do the job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some mineral spirits on it. Put some um some carb cleaner. Take take the bowl off again and clean it one more time. Then I'm gonna put it on my bike. But I in the in the inside it looks quite clean. It looks quite clean on the top. It looks quite clean. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna do that if it doesn't crank up um how it will now. So I'm gonna let gas go through it easily. Let it go through. I'm gonna hook the gas line back up to right there. That's where the gas line goes on my bike. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna um and then I'm gonna um let the gas flow through it. I'm gonna probably open the overflow um a little bit so that some of that gas could come up out of there. If it doesn't like let it start. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see I'm gonna bleed this, let it come out. And if there's something that needs to come up out of there, but she when when um when he opened the bowl, there was no gas in there at all. So all the gas had, I don't know where the gas was going since it wasn't in there. Um, and I used to let it run out the overflow, so the screw was almost tightened completely, and it would still come out the overflow. So I don't know, like what's wrong with that um screw. So he tightened it down. I think I didn't tighten it down enough, but that's how he tightened it down right there. So he tightened it down like that, and I think I had it a, l a lot more out than that. I think it was like to the right, a lot more to the right, like loosened more, and I thought that I tightened it down good enough. So that's probably why it was still bleeding out. But this, this, the gas is, if it overflow, and I don't use it for a while, it's still gonna come out. That's what it's made for, to let gas out if it um, overflows too much. So yeah, that's how the carp works. And this is the intake. Um, for the for my bike so yeah so i'm gonna adjust the idle and everything because i know it's gonna be messed up so i'm gonna have to adjust that um i think this the air idle it's in the middle so i i don't know what it is and i think it's if you are on the right of the intake i'm yeah if you want if you on the um right if it if this screw is on the right side of the intake on this side over here then it's for air if it's on the left side no 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 i'm right i'm right this, this if this screw is on the left side then it's for air if it's on the right then it's for gas but it's in the middle so it's both that's the idle screw i guess so where's the intake screw oh snap how did my key get on here so i'm guessing this little pin thing right there is the i don't know if that's the idle then that's controlling how much gas and everything go up in there so yeah that's for both um, on this stupid carburetor that was that had snap screws so he was telling me that he couldn't do it like this because um, these screws that I gave him might come out they might vibrate out because they didn't have that um, they didn't have they didn't have the um, rubber like part on it like these screws right here if you look really close at that oh, snap. if you look really close if you look really close at that screw right there, it won't focus. I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay, if you look at really close at that screw that's in the back, I mean that nut that's in the back, you see like blue, some type of blue looking plastic that's on it. That's what he was telling me to get a, a nut that looks like it has, well, that has plastic in it. It don't matter what's, what color the plastic is, but get something that has plastic in it that could fit these um, these screws that I gave him. So he couldn't, I couldn't find none. I went to a different home, um, Home Depot stores and um, different stores to find out. I went even with Family Dollar and they don't sell them. So I was crazy. I don't know what I was thinking. But I was walking back home and there's Family Dollar by my house. So I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm going to just go to the Family Dollar since I'm there. And I went there, they didn't have none. So, went in the gas station, bought me something to eat, came back out, went back to his house, and I've been walking around for about a good two hours trying to find out if I could find some, some nuts for this thing. So it doesn't just hold by itself and fall out. So, yeah. He didn't have to pre-drill it again. 
Um, since these screws didn't really, really want to fit in there, it'll fit, but it didn't really want to fit in there. So since this whole, this carburetor is um, aluminum and these steel, these, blah, blah, and these screws are um, steel, um, this, this um, aluminum had to be like, it, it, the, the um, things, I don't know what to call it. Um, it's like the inside of this right here where the screw is in. Where, where the screw is inside of now the the threads that's the name of it i'm trying to say like too many words at one time and I'm, my mouth is just fumbling so yeah the threads inside of this it had to stretch out and like take the shape of the new screw because these screws were forced inside of it even though they fit the, it it still had to be forced inside of it a little bit not a lot but a little bit only because there are new screws and the thread is the thread wasn't the same <laughs> So I was really, I was getting happy once he sawed off the um thing there, like the little head on it, cause I was like, oh yeah, he know what he's doing, he know what he's doing. So I was getting happy once I saw that. I was about to tell him, oh um, can I get the carb now so I could go home and do this my own stuff? But he cleaned it. He put some brake fluid, um, a little bit of brake fluid on inside of it. So that's why I was saying if it doesn't fire up with gas now, I'm gonna let it drain some of that brake fluid out. It. But brake fluid dries easy. The spray kind, it dries easy. So I was like, yeah, I'm a, um, I'm a, um, what you call it? I'm gonna mess around and you know, clean it again if it doesn't run. But it, it should run, cause you know what he's doing. It should run though. I'm probably end up getting another gasket here. My brother is still ordering me another carburetor offline. He ordered it for me today, and it should be coming soon. Um. So yeah, we're gonna have two carburetors just in case this one doesn't work. But this one should work. I mean if it's clean then it should work. Um so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I don't want to take up too much of time, but I'm gonna put this back on now. I don't really have a lot of space. I don't well I do have a lot of space, but I just don't wanna move it like everywhere. There's the hoverboard and everything down there. So a PlayStation 4. I was about to sell that thing. And just a whole bunch of stupid stuff. Xbox. Just a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Man. So yeah, I was about to um, sell that PS4, but I just remembered that my mom got it um, for Christmas for me and my brother. So I was like, nah, I can't sell it. But I probably am going to try to sell my PlayStation. Um, not not before. My PlayStation 2 or my... Um, my PSPs, I have two PSPs, but one of them doesn't have a battery. And then the other one works. Well, both of them work, but just one of them doesn't have a battery. And one of them, I only have one game. So, I don't know what to do. I don't have a, um, a eBay account, but I'll probably end up making one. And let, well, let my brother sell it and get his money from that. Um, even though he's too rich, but it doesn't matter. I still owe him for um, paying the rest of the money for my bike. So yeah, he's um buying me another carp. He's buying me something like a Makuni carp. Oh, I know it. Sorry about that. He's buying me something like a Makuni carp. I don't know if it is a Makuni carp. I think it is. And I told him to buy me one. Um, and I needed a 22 milli um millimeter um carp. So he got the right one. No, a 26, 26. This is a 26 mi um, millimeter carp. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind it's big kind of big it's up there this is not a makuni at first they thought this was a makuni card when i brought it to my friend's house to get it fixed so he could do these screws and stuff for me and take that out um but the only thing that he really did he was using like a sharp little tool to hit on that like, that that um cut like that snap screw on top of this that i showed you guys in the other video that had a snap screw before he could put these in for me. So he hit on top of it like a, a needle type thing to get it like a, a jab in it. And then he had um got his little Dremel and uh, he was starting cutting like the, the top of it and then he started going down deeper and deeper and deeper until he got like to flush with the carburetor bowl. And then I think he cut a little bit deeper and then he put, he did it for all the sides and he put the whole thing off. He was wiggling it off slow. And then he unscrewed the screws. He did it on this side too. He did it on the bottom too. And then he pulled it off easy. I was like, dang, I thought that the screws were still like grabbing it. So I'm guessing that these holes right here, 
this hole where this screw is like going through. I think that hole is a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm guessing that's why they made the snap screws. But that was retarded for Chinese people to do that. But thank you guys for watching the video. I'm going to throw this on there. Um, I'm not going to let the gas run through it because I'm going to smell it if I let it run through and it drips. So I'm going to just do all that tomorrow when I get home from school. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you like. Look forward to watching that video. Um, after I post another old video, I'll probably end up posting that old video. I have like another, yeah, I have an old video of what my bike looked like before I did anything to it. So I'm going to show you guys that. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that, man. Peace.